Ah, yeah, 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 H was just still behind the candy cane. Me and the brother and the bloke went, he looked round, saw H, saw he was black, looked at you, and you went, no, no charge, it's free, and he just walked off. Oh, man. We're going to get slated for this one. <laughs> We're going to hell. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Would You Rather, joined by the handsome... H and the dashing Dave. Oh yeah, like that. Cavalier. Would you have been a cavalier back in the day? Yeah. What what century were they? Cavaliers. Yeah. D'Artagnan way, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah! Imagine us three, we'd be good, wouldn't we? Oh, the musketeers. Yeah. The three musketeers. Yeah. I used to think we were three musketeers when we used to turn up at the, Did the repo and all that, yeah. You know, get our swords out and ah, give me your car. Ah! Is it? Is that how you used to think of yourself? So when me and H went to the door, yeah, you'd be you'd be stood by the car going, like coming down from the roof, like, ah, yeah. Is that how you thought it was? Yeah, let's have a drink. When they think French. Dave, I don't think Dave needs it. You remember um, watching Three Hundred before you went and done a job? Mm. Do you remember that? Yeah, <laughs> the f- yeah, I do remember that. Remember we went to uh, Star City, weren't it? Mm. Because we used to always repo from like five o'clock onwards because yeah. people were back. Yeah. Went to Star Cities with my ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we went VIP, didn't we? We sat in the big chairs at the top. We were like gold or whatever it was called. One of the worst fucking things to do, wasn't it? Because we was all fired up. Yeah. Can you remember what happened? I can. I'm sure it kicked off. Well, obviously I was there. No. Can didn't... you remember what happened? If I'm thinking correctly, I'm sure it, it was four of us because there was a lot of cars to go after. It might have been like about thirty cars that night. So there was four of us. There was me, you, you two, and Flaky One Eighty. No, 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 no. It was it was my ex. Don't mention her name. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it was my it ex. Was, yeah, she used to don the gear and come out, yeah. didn't she? And um, yeah. I think there was a woman and a bloke. And we'd watched 300, so it was all fired up anyway, and the bloke picked his hands on her, didn't he? I went absolutely fucking mm, shit and ragged him. Yeah. Mm. Ragged him all, all around his estate. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. absolutely fucking yeah. ragged him everywhere. And that was all because we'd watched the 300 and we were all fired up. But I'm sure I knew one of them from jail. Was it? Was there three of them? I'm, I'm sort of like thinking there was like two blokes and one woman. I think one was a white dude and there was a half class dude there with his missus. Which one was I ragging around? I can't remember. The half class dude. I dude. was ragging the half class yeah. dude. I just remember one of them got verbal. Yeah. And I think my ex started emptying out the car. Don't fucking do that, bitch. And that was it. Boom. Yeah. Because yeah. that not that the one as well where we got a dumper... And you were on the dumper with your top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was late along. at night, late at night when we done the repo, yeah. <laughs> and we were driving down behind you and you were in the dumper just driving along this lane. I just stripped off naked. Like stripped off, like, yeah, chest out. Just going down. <laughs> no, like, didn't I just completely strip off I can't, on the dumper? Well, all you could see on this hedge, hedge line was you above the hedge because obviously <laughs> the dumper was so high. Just like, like, top off, just going down this street. Just like, yeah. ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We used to do some stupid stuff, didn't we? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, I remember stripping off. That dumper was in a field, and you lot were, or you lot would buy the car. I had to go across the field, got completely muddy, started the dumper, and I thought, oh, it'd be ha- absolutely hilarious. Mm. <coughs> because I don't think the person was there. We found the farm. Yeah. It was, the dumper was in a field, so we had the repossession papers. I don't know if I posted the papers, but it's a universal key for dumpers. When we're getting on the dumper, yeah. And I thought, because you guys were around the corner, I thought, wouldn't it be funny? Fuck knows what would have happened if a farmer had turned up. Yeah. But I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I completely stripped off naked? And then when you saw me emerge, yeah, I was naked on the dumper. Yeah, I remember. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Old days, eh? The old days, eh? The old days. I do remember we was in, I can't remember which part of London we was in, but we was doing the dumps, right? The laundry. I was yeah. just about to say the laundry is probably one of my favourite. But which one? 
I've actually mentioned this in, in Confessions of a Repo Man. Yeah, about a couple of laundrettes. Yeah, the laundrette. There was that one when that big fucking Smolian come through the door. No, it's not that one. No. Took, one. took you out. You was by the <laughs> you was by the back door. Yeah. And no one knew he was coming through the back door. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we just heard all the clothes and the dry cleaning clothes. Dave's come gambolling through. That big smoking's grabbed him. <laughs> and as the bloke's carried on running with Dave, I've managed to get him in a choke lock or something and choked him out. And we're like, yeah. where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> yeah. There was that one. And then that one where you two were on the washing machine. Phase three electrician. Exactly. It was always no, a phase three electrician. was the electrician because it was that massive, it was as tall as this ceiling. Huge uh, dry clean. There was a wedding dress in there, wasn't there, with loads of blue liquid in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kept yeah, saying to you, yeah, yeah. I kept saying, H, I don't think we should fuck with this too much because I can't remember the door's locked now and there's somebody's wedding dress is in there. There's blue liquid in there. You know, we, we're not going to open this. And H just took all the front panel off and he's got his iPhone out and he's like videoing and, and like where he's pulling cables out. And he's like, oh, it's all right. I know what I'm doing. You was with like, him. And I was, I was like, H, I says, I says, oh, I, 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 I says, I, I'm good. I can't remember an half of this age. Oh, and age should strip this thing down. So I was like, right, fuck this. I'm going off to get the dresses on. So no, I no, not to start off with, both of you two had your heads in there. <laughs> yeah. I remember I come running across, yeah. running across the laundrette, I fucking bam, smacked the side. <laughs> yeah. And you two didn't know if the power was off. You two yeah. went, ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, the, imagine the customers just looking at us a lot, thinking, fucking Shit hell. Yeah, and then I went out and went through the rack, seeing if there was anything. That's after they went for the money, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I was finding all these dresses in that, and then you were like, oh, I know. Let's change the labels. So you were putting... <laughs> no, you changed the labels. You changed the labels. You hey, like, in, ah. my, in my podcast, it was you who changed the <laughs> labels. He was like, ah, Mr. Smith, you can have a dress. But, and then the next thing you know, we changed the whole fucking <laughs> rack. So nobody was getting back their item. And then the guy comes in, doesn't he? No, 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 oh, no, man. no, no. They left us because it was a tie bird and the bloke and she refused to be in the shop with us because yeah. we were fucking, we was mad. Yeah. So he went to get the money. He went to get the money. Me and H were stood the other side of the counter. You was behind the thing and you always used to do that posh shit thing, didn't you? Hi, sir, how are you doing? A bloke walked in for his stuff and you went... Good evening, sir. How are you? What would you like today? And the bloke went, oh, well, uh, yeah, hang on. Let me just find it for you. And you actually did find his thing. And you come back and you was like, no, sir, free of charge, new ownership. Me and my brother there just took it on. <laughs> and you pointed at H. And you went, me and my brother, me and my brother. Still with his screwdriver the panel like that. Yeah, like, like, H was just stood behind the counter going, me and the brother. And the bloke went, Look around, saw H, saw he was black, looked at you, and you went, no, no charge, it's free, and he just walked off with his, with his garments. Oh, God, oh, that was man. funny, yeah. And then they paid, because we were looking at the front window, weren't we, and you were like, right, I'm going to bring a high in here, we're going to lift this thing out, yeah. and this guy was like, I just want you guys out of my life, yeah. you're a pain. He paid, and then H was like, he was like, I want my machine fixed. And yeah, H was we never like, used to fix it, did we? H was like, yeah, I'll have this done in two minutes. Puts the panel back on, nothing's connected. Yeah. Off we went. Yeah. <laughs> there we used to fuck it, around. Yeah. The, the restaurants are worse ones, like the oh, Greek takeaways. Yeah. yeah. See, people turn around. This is, this is what I get. Like when, when they watch Repo Recall and Repo Minor Car, it says it's reenacted. And it says the things. If we actually... If they, as an actual camera crew, went around, round, apart yeah. from the Channel 4 thing, and actually saw what we did, we'd all be in fucking prison. <laughs> yeah. And they'd go, they never used to do that for real. They never used to do that. Yeah, it's got to be worse. made up. It's got to be made up. We did, but the stuff we make up is half of the experiences similar, yeah. what we used to do. But if we actually showed what we did, we'd fucking hell. They never used to do that. That's what makes me laugh. At some point, they, go, they never used to. They're not real repo made. I mean, look how many shops we used to close down because we were after the show a bit. Yeah, we used so to just smash the shit out of it. Yeah. We're taking, we're taking Running through shutters. <laughs> Running through shutters. That is actually on Channel 4 at the beginning, I think. Yeah, I is think it? I'm Did Channel put shutter down? I must have yeah. reported it. Yeah. yeah, I put ripped the yeah, shutter off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I like. That's what I like about that. We, we just did loads of shit and the stuff we'll oh, get, what we put out crazy. is crazy. fucking fake, but it's entertainment. Yeah. But then people in the comments on YouTube put, this is really funny. Shame it's fake. And you're like, what's a TV show? Yeah. Just fucking enjoy it. 
But they don't actually think where we were reaper man. That's why I see they don't. We had some fun. We had some, we had some brilliant fun. We had, fun. Fun. We, had some, we had a right laugh. Absolutely. That's what we're on the confessions of a reaper man. Like I'll just talk about the old stories we used to do. I talk about the dog biting you. Oh god. Yeah. But we do, we do. I do talk about the confessions, right? But then I get people going on the confessions of a reaper man, going fucking wanker. He he only does fake stuff. Yeah. This stuff's not true. You fucking look at this prick pretending these stories are real. And you're like, no, I was a reaper man. And then we did the fake stuff. Yeah. I think my most funniest story was when I took that big stone crusher thing yeah. out of that place and I took down all the telephone lines. <laughs> That's in the confessions thing. Was you with us that day? I wasn't there, but I remember hearing about it. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there. When you were, I thought you was with me. No, that was a no, 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 you was with me. No, 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 you was with me. Was we went to that place and we took out that, we hit that bloke's yard with the trucks. And then we hit him again. We hit three different places. I made a oh, you. And as we was coming yeah, out, yeah, yeah. and it was like a big, it was a huge piece of equipment. And they was like, oh, yeah. you can't do that. And as I was yeah. driving out, all the tarmac was getting ripped up. Took it out onto the main road. And as I took it out onto the main road, a massive big boom. And it took down all their fucking... Telephone lines, everything. I tell you, there's one I remember. We had the, it was in the, Fal the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Me and you, I can't remember if Dave was with us. Dave wasn't with us. Me and you, nighttime repo, picked up a, a, a cross motorbike. Oh, yeah. So we had yeah, to lift yeah, it up, yeah, fit, yeah, yeah, put, yeah, fit it in, back, the, in yeah. the cab. We picked up a Mondeo, but on the way to get the Mondeo, we had to, we had to scale some gardens. And when, it, when we seen the biggest pile of dog shit, you said, H. Yeah, you better get back in the cab. <laughs> Mate, I was nearly in tears. <laughs> Hated dogs. I always dealt with dogs. Yeah. Always me. Oh, and I got bit by one. Yeah, you got bit by one. He hated them. And I was always... Uh, dogs don't bother me. All right, let's go with a question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we're, we're, we're here today. We're coming here today to answer questions. All right, would you rather give up sex for a whole year... Or give up masturbating for a whole year. Oh. This is celibacy, eh? But this is like, yeah. you know, you're in a long term relationship, so you so you got to add up how many times you have sex, really. Uh, birthday, birthdays, birthdays, special occasions. Yeah, maybe Valentine's night if I'm if I'm lucky. <laughs> if you go out, <laughs> if you're lucky. If I'm lucky, and I bought an expensive enough handbag. If you bought an expensive, <laughs> that's my trick. Yeah. Do you know what? Actually, like Louis Vuitton wants my missus to do a fucking fashion show. <laughs> She's got yeah. how many fucking Louis Vuitton. Would well, you know? Um, Fairfax and Favor actually wrote to me. I'm the top 100 customer because I've spent so much money with her on handbags. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your missus' favor? My missus Louis Vuitton. She's got Louis Vuitton, Gucci. She's like yeah, the thing is right. She's like Gucci. Yeah. But when I started buying like the Louis Vuittons and. and and Prada and all that. They, you've gone up a lot. They don't go back to Gucci then. Yeah. They just look at they just yeah, they just look they just look at Gucci and yeah. just go, Yeah. It's a Gucci bag. Yeah. Whereas the latest Louis Vuitton is Louis, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I mean, I even tried like with Philip Plain and stuff. Yeah. Philip Plain's good, but like no, it's just Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I stick to the horsey stuff, Holden Cooper, Fairfax Favour. Can't go wrong with them. Massive brownie points for getting that, but yeah. Twice a year is probably my maximum that I'm allowed. In. Sex. So, the, so the, the question is: Would you rather give up sex for a year or give up masturbating? But in a previous podcast, you say you haven't masturbated for nineteen years, don't you? Yeah. Dave's face. Good. <laughs> that was my face. <laughs> nah, I don't believe that. I haven't masturbated. Do we get? Do we get? The, do we get the thing out? Do we get the? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Let's get that fucking thing out. Sure. Hang on. Let, we have to hear it from you. When was the last time you masturbated? It's been a long time, isn't it? You told me jail. Jail? So what, how many? 19 years? No. Fucking no. I'll go with that, yeah. No so, way. Do, do we get it out, Dave? Yeah. Let's get that Seriously? Out. Get, get that thing. <sighs> Come on. We don't, we don't get this out very rarely on the show. Not having that. Not having that. Not having that. I'm glad you're on the show. 
because I wank at least twice a week. Easy. Easy. Really? Easy. Twice a week? Yeah, do you do it every day, twice a day? Not, tw not twice a day. I mean, those are rookie numbers. I know. Some, sometimes, three times. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm doing a lot of office work, my mind wanders. If I'm doing shitloads of office work, I'll literally fucking... Maybe three three times a week, four times a week. Thing is, the more you wank, sometimes like it's harder to get into the sex again in it because you've just been watching loads of shit. So like, you've got to be careful. Yeah, I mean, I, I spend a lot of time away, don't I? So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the biggest wanker going. So how many times is that? Oh, that'll be every night. Every night. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. If I'm away, if I'm away doing like filming, I like, easily have two wanks a night. Yeah. Because you're just bored sat in a hotel room. Exactly, that's it. You know, do, you have more, do you have two wanks tonight? Do you have one? Yeah. What, I, well, what I try to do is, because I, I don't want to I don't want to fatigue myself too early, yeah. is I might I might do one like after lunch, yeah. if I can, if I've got time. After lunch special. And then I always like the before sleep wank. Yeah, yeah. Because it just calms retired, you down, yeah. settles you down. You can, you know, you can have a wank then. Yeah. And, then and then you set up for the night. Yeah. You just have a nice yeah. sleep. Exactly. I've got someone normal on the show for once. <laughs> this whole, I haven't done it for 19, 19 years. years. No way. Don't wash with me. What's wrong with that? It's not true. You can't go like 19 years without masturbating. Right. There's something wrong there. I'm, st I'm sticking to my guns. I... It's exactly the same expression I had when he told me. Exactly oh, the same face. On. Exactly the same face. So really, H, H ain't gonna really matter. No, he ain't gonna. He ain't gonna give a not shit <laughs> about this question. I have done jail, so yeah. I, I wanked in jail. On but... someone else. <laughs> I wanked in someone else. <laughs> no, 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 single pad. No. Why there was still attached to my cot? Got <laughs> swank. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having that. That you don't masturbate. So See, if you don't, if you don't masturbate, yeah. then when you have sex, you come in too quick. And I come in too quick. Well, exactly. Like, right. what do you do in that? In, in you have come too quick once. I've only done it a few times. And I'm not talking like, well, I suppose it is premature ejaculation, but not like, Ugh. I remember once I was with an XX and I was picking, picking Miss Sire. And um, I think she was married. We still got on, and she goes, "Oh, I said, can you have a shag like?" She was like, "Yeah, right." And I remember picking my kid up. So he's putting his boots on, and he went up into the bathroom. So I just quickly bent her over, and I was thinking, "Fucking hell!" Like I've, I've, I've been thinking about this all the way down. And I remember shagging her, and it was like literally a couple of stroke come, and then. Kid come upstairs and I, I, I was quickly pulled out, shut the door, and she was like, "Oh, we will finish off later." And I went, "Oh, we're done." <laughs> Tell you, looking her eyes was like amazing. I, I, I <laughs> thought she was looking at me, going, "Well done," but I don't think it was. No, it's like I'm done. Yeah, and yeah, instead of like "well done," it was like "I'm done." <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, and I always remember when I had like I used to take my kid out. Buy him stuff, take him out. I remember when I went back, her chat was always there. And um, he'd be like, all right, slimy cunt. And he, he'd like, he'd like get hold of my kid and say, all oh, right, son, what have you been doing today? Oh, I used to look at you and think, you know, no, no, when you just want to, no, you just, when you're that, when you're that animal and you're a beast, but you, you just, you just want to calm it because your kids are there. You, you, you want to see your kid again. Yeah. And, and you're just like yeah and the twat knew what he was doing yeah you know put his hands on the shoulders did you have a good day son and all I used to think yeah I've had a good day <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've had a brilliant day mate <laughs> you're going you get, you're going to enjoy your happy family yeah <laughs> see, see see you in two weeks son <laughs> <laughs> well that was really that was the quickest quickest that I've done I think I don't know why I think it might have just been the excitement yeah. Excitement travelling down. And of course, when I do the threesome, sometimes you do get excited, but like you just. Oh, you don't want to be that guy during the threesome that 
Shoots well, I have threesomes. I have a, but the thing is, a Viagra helps a bit. I don't know why, but it just takes the edge off it. Yeah. And in the threesomes, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm going to catch. So you just pull out and you just like, just watch for a bit. Change positions. Look at you two. You're like, you wanker. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, because you're happily, because you're happily mad, you wanker. Yeah. You can hate you. It's just like, I hate yeah. you. I fucking hate you. And see, just hates. Just, looking at you <laughs> just the hatred. I hate you. Just coming through. I hate you. Yeah. So. Right. So, would you rather give up sex for a year or give up masturbating for a year? What would you do? Me. Well, being a married man, it's give up the sex in it. Because I, I'll, I'll happily yeah. have six months just wanking. Yeah. And I'll do that now, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's just standard. It's just standard practice. No, no so it's standard. Like, it's, yeah. Milk, two sugars. <laughs> Wank, two squirts. <laughs> or do you do, H? Would you rather give up sex for a whole year or give up masturbating? Well, I'm in a life sentence, so I'd give up sex. Give up sex? What about now? Sex is a special occasion. <laughs> He's the same. Yeah, but you don't masturbate. But I don't really get the sex, so what's the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at least you could try. Yeah, you could try. I could try and masturbate too. Yeah, but you won't. Exactly, you but you said, you're gonna, you said you'll give up sex. I'll give up sex, yeah. Yeah, so you give up I've sex. Got, I've got or... the option there to master, masturbate. But um, sex is... Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, cause you, but you don't masturbate. If you haven't masturbated for 19 years, you're not yeah. going to be... So really, well, yours then, would be you'd give up masturbating and then on the off chance you're going to get a shag on your birthday. Nah, I'd be lucky and even that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that bad? Mate. I'm, and there's me sat here for all these podcasts talking about threesomes and everything. Just remember I'm going on, what, 22 years? Same partner? Long time. It is, isn't it? And that, but that hits home why I live my life. How I want it. 22 fucking years on the same partner, mate. Yeah. I think when you get home, you've got to have a chat and listen. <laughs> get some of these swinging sites. Fuck it up. Let's have a chat. So that's how it is. Swinging? If she ain't going to give it in, she ain't going to go swinging. Yeah, but no. And yeah. even if I do suggest that, I'd, I'd be expecting some kind of heavy contact on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be a grappling. Once the initial <laughs> shock is over. <laughs> Once it... <laughs> Once they've calmed down after a month, they might talk to you. <laughs> might. Yeah, but just think the makeup sex. Oh, I yeah. don't even know if I'd get that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So you would you would actually give up sex for a year? Yeah. On the hope you might wank yourself off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's just mad. Yeah. Yeah. Would I rather give up sex for a year or give up masturbating? I have a good sex life and I have a good masturbating life. Yeah, but which is better? You know the thing I like about a wank is there's no, it's no strings attached. You know what I mean? You just you, you have a wank, you're done. You know you haven't got to you know there's no formalities or you know you just do it. You don't have to pay them. Done. <laughs> do I mean you get the same? <laughs> you don't have to pay them. Don't have to pay them. You, you have to, the don't have to wipe. The only thing is wrote with a wank is you've got to clear your porn history. Just in case your missus goes, give us your phone. Let's look on your website. Yeah, yeah there is that. But it's quite good on new iPhone 15s because you can press clear search history and clear tabs at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. You and so you, can clear, so you can click both and press it and it gets rid of both. So no trace. <sighs> Fuck it up. What would I do, though? Um, I have a good sex life, though. I don't think I could give up fucking threesomes and stuff. And all right, stop rubbing all the right. threesomes in. Just, towards... just to masturbate about it. No, I'd have to give up masturbating. I, I'd give up masturbating. I can't believe he's given up sex. Yeah. That was his only option when he says he's a masturbate. Yeah. All right, so you right. So, would you rather give up sex for a year or give up masturbating for a year? Give up sex. Sex. Well, I'd give up masturbating. <laughs> Till next time. We'll miss it that much, it's shiny.